What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? It's your girl Tina Bling and I'm back again with a facial Friday at 5, honey. Yes, on my channel, every Friday, we have facial Fridays where we review a new face mask or a fan favorite and get into some girl chat as well. Definitely get your face mask, relax, and be ready to hear some juicy topics because not only am I bringing you amazing face masks that are not sponsored, hopefully soon, um, I'm bringing nice story times. I just thought about incorporating some story times in my facial Fridays because it is going to get boring with just reviewing face masks. So I was like, you know what? I have some crazy stories to tell. Like, stories you might be like, did she make this up? Like, no, these are real life stories that happen in my life. Um, a few of them I have to get permission if they want me to share it, but most likely they don't want me to share because it's hilarious so okay so let's get started all right so today we are using the i'm cherry blossom brightening face mask by tony moly like i said in the beginning this is not sponsored i'm just simply trying out these face masks and also i'm gonna insert a little picture or maybe the video of when i tried the tea tree mask i wanted to record for face to fabric friday like last week but i wasn't feeling too good so i just went ahead and did like a little you know fake little recording <laughs> but the mask was amazing so i'm super stoked to try this brightening um, I am Cherry Awesome Man. So, first, like in all my videos, I'm gonna wash my face, then I'm gonna steam, and we're gonna get into this topic. Oh my god, honey, I, I don't wanna start. So, I'm gonna wash, and then we're gonna get into the topic. As always, we're going in with our trusty Kills Ultra Cleansing Facial Wash. Go definitely, if you are new and you're seeing this video for the first time, go back. This is only the third Facial Friday, so you don't have much to catch up on. Watch the first two, and you'll be so caught up. Circular motion. Okay, now it's time to rinse. Um, as you can see in the title, let me rinse first. And I'm gonna start when I start steaming because it's gonna get steamy. I hope y'all ready for this story. Like I haven't told, <laughs> I haven't told this story in so long time. I'm like really excited. So let me let me get my life. Let me get my life. And now I'm a pajama. All right, so my face is all washed up. We're gonna go in with a clean paper towel. In my other videos, I explain why I use a clean paper towel, but I'm just going to let you know I don't like using a regular towel because you're using the same towel every single day. Those germs from yesterday is still on the towel, so it's going to go on your face. So we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let me get the steamer going. same steamer like in my other videos the cocon baby i'm gonna link everything in the description down below so you can go out and get it yourself so gonna get her working so i know y'all waiting for me to tell y'all this story so as you can tell by the title me and my friend almost got kidnapped not i want to say it's like almost got kidnapped but we put ourselves in a situation where we could have been <laughs> kidnapped but thank god our intuition you know being smart and you know i don't know if that's really being smart but i don't know judge for yourself so this was about would it be in 2020 so this was 2017 so this is so three years ago me and my homegirl i don't know i couldn't do that math real quick me and my homegirl my best friend we went to puerto rico so regular girls trip it was actually around this time of year because we left on like the 21st so 21st i think we was out there for like four or five days anyway so we went out to puerto rico you know have a little girls trip 
and we met this guy. Now, I'm actually like fast forwarding it to like when I'm gonna try to get the juicy parts. So, we met this guy, and we're gonna call him Raymond. So, Raymond was we didn't know this in the beginning because we were like in um. I don't know, it's like San Juan, but it's like the area where you go where they have like a lot of bars and stuff. Kind of touristy, a little bit of like mixed crowd for people that live on the island. So, you know, me and my homegirl, we like to indulge in some herbs. And we were out having a good time and we was also looking for some herb. So, of course, the man with the Rasta thing going on, I'm like, he gotta know somebody. Like, I don't know, I don't like to... <laughs> You know, put prejudging people, but sometimes I be so right, I could tell a smoker from a mile away. Like, I'm sorry, I just feel like I got that ability. So, no behold, he wound up approaching us and was just like, How y'all doing? I, I just really rapping. He was really talking to my homegirl. He was feeling her because she had a lot, so it was just like a lot connection. And so, yeah, so we met him and he was just like, Yeah, like, I'm the plug. But he didn't say that he was the plug, but he had it on him. So, we just had to go um, to his car and get it. His car was like literally across the street. Like it wasn't like we went into no back alley. Which, you know, it was a lot of people out there. You have to be smart. When you go on vacation, just don't be following people wherever. Like be smart. Like if you, t if you see that guy is telling you to come somewhere and you don't feel comfortable or if there's nobody around or just shady, don't go. But it was mad people around. We was just like, he, he really not going to try nothing. Whatever. So, why not be a cool guy or whatever? He gave it, give us a, like a big bunch for free, all that. So, we like, all right, the rest of the night, we hanging out with him. We see that he's kind of popping. Like, a lot of people in the neighborhood know him. Like, everybody dapping him up. Like, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Don't even really know who this guy is. So, we just having a good time. So the next day, he's like, oh, um, I want to show y'all around. Like, I want to get y'all, you know, the real Puerto Rico experience. And I'm like, all right. Like, I'm just, you know, really calling bullshit. Like, because I'm not about to go with no stranger if he give me the Puerto Rico experience and stuff like that. But whatever. The next day, we wind up going to this breakfast spot with him. And was it the next day we went to the breakfast spot with him? I think it was the next time, the next, the next day we went to the rest of the spot with him. Anyway, what's this? Hold on. All right, so I mean, somebody had called my phone and I needed to pick up that call. It was so important. <laughs> so while I was on the call, I just finished my face theme. I'm not gonna like over exert my face because I don't know I got time. So we went to the breakfast spot. And we had amazing breakfast. Like that food was really on point. And he told us the name of the spot. So we was able to look it up, make sure it was a real place. And it was, so that was cool. So let's open this up. Um, so we all go to breakfast. Um, and you know what? We did go out that night too. Like we went out and then we went to breakfast the next day. Um, so he was telling us, he was like, yo, this is when we did find out that he is an artist. Like, he's like this poppin' reggae tone artist out there. So, you know, I felt a little bit more comfortable. Even though I was a little bit hesitant, um, I was a little bit more comfortable. Because I'm like, alright, at least we're not out here with no, you know, regular, regular dude. So, this is the face moves. So... We look him up, we say he's pretty legit, we got all his social media, everything, cool. So, he tells us, yo, I want to take y'all on the other side of the island. <laughs> I want to take y'all, this is mine, this is like that night at the club. He's like, oh, I'm going to take you on the other side of the island. Sorry, I feel like I'm like spinning this story around so many times. 
I want to take you on the other side of the island. Um, you know, this is where the touristy spots is at. It's not really nice. And he, he was like, he had his family restaurant was on the other side of the island. So he just, you know, wanted to show us around. He was really trying to impress my homegirl. I mean, he was doing his little thing because he had everything in order. Like, we went to the, we didn't hardly spend no money. Like, all our money came really pretty much back with us. Like, the only thing we had to pay for was, and we kind of, at this point, we kind of felt a little bit obligated. Oh my God, my lash. Was for breakfast. Like, we did um, leave a tip, but everything else, he had it. Like, I mean, we wasn't spending racks, but, you know, it was pretty nice. So, anyway, so, let's get back to the scary part. So, he turned us, <laughs> he us, I have to, like, open this up. The only thing about this face mask is a little bit, you know, small, but you just have to open it in little parts, like right here and right here. So yeah, let's just let this sit. It says 20 to 30 minutes, so that's enough time for me to tell my story. Um, and I also like to take the remainders and then rub it on my chin. Okay. So, he tells us, you wanna take it? He wanna take us on the other side of the island, and this is after breakfast. And also, he had two other friends that was coming in from out of town. So we like, all right, cool. We're gonna all go to the other side of the island. You know, you said it's this popping beach that we went to. I'm gonna try to insert some pictures from um, Gilligan's Island. It's amazing. If you go to Puerto Rico, you must go to Gilligan's Island. Like, that was an experience we would have never experienced if it wasn't for him. So, thank you, Raymond. <laughs> So at this point, me and my homegirl is coming up with a plan. Be like, yo, imagine if some shit really go down. Like, imagine if he really take us on this other side of the island. We get killed. We get. You, you never know what could happen. Like when you going on another side of the island, someplace that you don't know and you don't even live there. So we knew all of that. So we were just like, yo, we just gonna fuck him up. Like we gonna just fight for the death. <laughs> like all of that. Um. So yeah, so we came with this plan. He's like, all right, well, good thing my sister, she was in Puerto Rico at the time with her friend. So we literally took pictures like the whole way there, like all of those signs, even if it was in Spanish, we had a catalog and I sent all of that to my sister because at least she was there. She was the closest person that could like, you know, pass on the word that shit is going down. But I didn't tell my sister that we was going on the other side of the island with this man because she would have freaked the fuck out. Like, I was freaking out low-key. Um, so, we on our way there. We smoking, having a good time. Like, it's just popping. Like, and we get to Gilligan's Island. We had an amazing day um, at the island. Then, we want to go into his family restaurant. I wish I had pictures from the family restaurant and remember the name. But I could just hit him up and he'll, you know, let me know. Um, with his family restaurant, mad good. Then it was time to go to his house. That's why I was just like, yo, like this shit is really gonna go. It's gonna. Well, that's just like it's really gonna go down. But I'm just like, oh my god, like today is just going so good. Like nothing bad happened, and like even his vibes. Like I didn't catch no bad vibes from him. Like he wanted to be overly pushy on us, and like you know, rubbing on our legs, and just like being overly ropey. Like he was just a real gentleman. Like that loved to enjoy, enjoy the biggest herbs. Like his. Blunt's mad big, like <laughs> that was a good time. We went to his house. He gave us, um, we had our own room, um, which was really nice, air conditioned, clean. He tried to sneak in the bed, not one time. He did come in the room at night because we had the fan popping, and he slept on the floor. Like I didn't even know he was there. So. Shout out to you, Raymond. I'm happy that you weren't a creep and you didn't put me and my homegirls in a situation that we could have been in because that's risky. Like, going on vacation, going to somebody's house, like, after knowing them two days, that's crazy. But always trust your intuition. Always have a rider by your side because me and my homegirls, boop, 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 boop. Like, we was about to break the brakes on him. Like, he... I'm sorry, like I'm not going down without a fight. Like even when we we wanted to walk into the club that day, and I had on these crazy ass shoes, girl, you know what shoes I'm talking about? Because <laughs> we always laugh about these shoes. Um, and we just like, yo, anybody run up on us? Like 
you just got, got to have that attitude. Like, I'm from New York. Like, I'm not walking around like I'm a victim. Like, you're the victim of anything. <laughs> All right, let me calm down. Let me. All right, I'm calm. So, that was my little story of almost putting myself in a situation where I could have got kidnapped. Like, imagine. Like, I don't even know what. What would I even do? Like, what would I even say? Let me do my lip scrub since we sitting here. I got a few more minutes. Like, I don't even know. My mom would really want to kick my ass. This is my lip scrub that I use in my other videos. I have some new scrubs on the way. Yes, I have some new scrubs on the way that I cannot wait to use. Yeah, you gotta have those type of people around you, man. Cause shit could have got real, and I'll never. Even though I did that, did that, I probably won't do that again because I don't know. Like I just feel like that was just the point in my life where I was just so young and like reckless, and we was just like living on the edge. Like now. I probably wouldn't do that. Like, I probably wouldn't recommend for anybody to do that because there's no perfect way on how to, like, figure out if somebody's, like, a predator. Like, you you would never really know <laughs> until you put yourself in that situation. So, to each his own, honey. To each his own with that. <laughs> Definitely comment down below if you have been in a crazy situation like myself because... I know I'm not the only one that's risking it all out here. Well, I didn't like risk it all, but I did do the most vile. All right, love. So it's been about 20 minutes already. So we're going to take our face mask off. Ooh, my face was so good. Oh my God. <laughs> That is kind of crazy. So. I just like to give myself a little. I'm like trying to figure out who is there in my house. Okay, so let's rinse. Okay, so you're gonna grab another paper towel and pat your face dry. Do not rub your face, honey. Mm -hmm. Pat. Do you want wrinkles? No. So you're gonna pat it. Pat it also helps, you know, get the blood flowing in your face. Pat it down. Okay. Actually, this is a clean towel. I was gonna do like a hot, you know, compress, but I feel like my face feels great and I don't wanna take out extra moisture, so. Oh! So I'm not gonna do that. Listen to your face, listen to your body. Like if your face feels all right and it doesn't feel too cakey, I'm gonna go in with our little magic potion. This is tea tree oil and olive oil. I use this in all my videos to get rid of dark spots. So yeah, listen to your body. I don't wash my face with soap every single time I, um, every single day. Like, no. I only really do it when I am. So, on my dog spots. Let that sit in. It sounds like somebody's in my freaking backyard. Hold on, because this lady dog be coming in my backyard and. I don't know. I feel like she's calling it. All right, so the dog is not a dog's not in my yard. It's actually in the yard next door. So that's their problem. 
I don't know, they need to do something about that. And you just gonna let your door go and the yard. Like, we completely blocked off our yard. Like, my dog, he used to get out, but he's not young no more. Like, that is our little grandpa. Okay, so I use anti ointment. I use that on my nails. The same like that. Okay, I'm going to take all this off. Cool. Okay, cool. And we are fresh. Fresh face. Oh my god. I have like a. <laughs> like a Alright, so we are fresh face looking cute. Looking very cute. That mask to this little thing. I definitely recommend that mask. Like I feel like I had gotten a facial. Especially with the whole steamer action. So go out there, get you a mask because next week <laughs> we will be doing either the moisturizing mask or the nourishing mask. Comment down below which one would you like to see me do. That I am honey or I am aloe. I'll see you again at another Facial Friday at 5. Where we we'll be dishing up some hot topics. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next Friday. Next